live in Hollywood right now. Before the Emmys are handed out, though, you know, there is the red carpet. Everybody's getting ready. People are hungry around here in Hollywood trying to fit in those dresses, and they all want to look their best. So I wanted to look my best, too, and I got help, which I needed, from a celebrity stylist to help glam me up. Look. All right, fresh off the plane here in Hollywood. I'm ready to get red carpet ready for the daytime Emmys. Let's see if celebrity stylist stars. Tony Ferrara! Hi. How are you, girl? Good. I need to get red carpet ready. Can Let's you help go. me? Let's go. Awesome. We don't have a lot of time. First of all, I am, I'm amazed how you got me into this dress. I could not have done it by myself, so it's worth every single penny. Tell me the secrets into getting into dresses. Um, I think it's important. Undergarments always something that foundations obviously key. So like getting the right, like we have a great bra underneath. We have like great like high waisted panties underneath. Just everything to kind of keep okay. the silhouette, you know, where it needs to be. So or create smooth. one in this or, case. Or create one. <laughs> but actually, you have a really great hourglass figure, and that's actually one of the reasons why I chose this dress. Uh huh. And I thought in the, this kind of a dress, usually I'd be a curvier girl, so I would think that you know you'd have to shy away. But I never thought I could wear this kind of a dress. And they and tend to yes. shy away. But like, even like I was telling you, like Khloe Kardashian typically goes for that mermaid style. Uh -huh. Her wedding dress was that actually. Um, it actually flatters a curvy girl. I feel because curvy it's, and cute. Because it's actually like perfectly fitted to your body. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I think is that if you are um, maybe more of a rectangle shape where you don't have that waist, like the belt on this really can make you kind of create mm -hmm. a waist, which really works really well. Now, how do you, in the world do you get a corset on? Like, because what I have under here is just kind of like the corset of an army or something. <laughs> <laughs> she is strong, man. <laughs> how do you do that by yourself if you're trying to get ready for a red carpet event? Is that even possible? I mean, do you so, lay you know, on the bed and <gasps> sometimes we have husbands help us. Sometimes we have the assistants, obviously, that help us. But um, I think you know, at the end of the day, it's all worth it, and you can actually breathe in this dress. I mean, you I can, totally can. Right? Yes. So it feels good, but I'm you're shocked. still like you still have the hour I can and I, and I feel pretty and I feel like I feel balanced like I feel like yeah. it, it complements my shape too and also the color another key for red carpet is I always say like even though there's certain colors that are certain like Lee and trend right now mm -hmm. it's really important for you to pick a color that you feel good in yeah there's always about eight colors that are usually in style so with a stylist you just kind of come up with like what makes you feel good and I think you look really good in jewel tones so that's why I picked a couple of metallics and jewel tones yeah. I feel like you radiate when I when I've seen you on TV and blue cobalt blue and purple so you can help me pick out my dress for the daytime Emmys. Just check out our website. Look at those. Ah, HLNTV.com to see the top choices that Tony picked out for me. Then head to our Facebook page to cast your vote. And you know what? I have to tell you, this may sound a little strange, but she has some of the strongest hands. That girl got me lassoed into these puppies. I don't know how she did it, but she's buff. <laughs>